became, became more knowledgeable than Imam al-Shafi'i. And Imam al-Shafi'i, he actually had a conversation with him one day. He said, you are more knowledgeable than me in hadith, which means narrations. And he says, so whenever a narration is authentic, then inform me of it. So in other words, what he's saying is, you know, he admitted out of humbleness that you know more, you know more than I do. So whenever you come across some information that I don't know, can you please share it with me? That's a, that's a person that is worried about being the best version of himself and not trying to be um, the best for a title to show the people. And the only and the only and, and that is actually very hard to do. You want to know the reason why it's very hard to do? Because it's a matter of uh, it's a matter of sincerity of the heart. If your heart is not sincere, you won't be able to do it. That's the that's that's actually uh, um, the core of I, I like to call you know um, the, the essence of success right there, the heart. What's the condition of your heart? If you constantly trying to compete with people, your heart ain't right. Your heart is you you because what's going to happen is you you're borderline jealous. That's what's going. That's really what will happen. Because you know what will happen. When you're competing, if he get the upper hand over you, or he surpass you, then guess what? You're gonna feel some. You're gonna feel some type of way about it. And if you feel some type of way about it because he surpassed you, that's pretty much the same thing as jealousy. Because you're racing from something that will either happen or happen. But if you just worry about being the best version of yourself, it's a win-win situation. It's a win-win situation all day long. You see? That's why, you know, guys that know more than me, you know what I do? I take a pen, take a piece of paper or a notebook. I sit down, I fold, I fold my, my legs, and I sit down like a student, and I just shut my mouth and take notes. That's what I do. That's, that's, the, that's what got me to this point right now. Shut my mouth, piece of paper, pen, taking notes. That's the thing that got me here. Humility, humbleness, man. But anyway, um, and the last but not least, sorry for just to prolong that, but I'm a very detailed person, as you can see, or as you can hear. Uh, number five is the person who who has the corporate thinking. And good examples of brothers like this is uh, Mr. Smell Good, Look Good, of course. Um, Brother Yah said from Body Essence, right here in Michigan, um, Medina goes to all of them guys, man. People that actually have a store. What I mean by that is somebody that actually started from nothing and they, and they came to something. And when they got a little bit, they just kept going until it got to a point where they actually had a store. Corporate thinking. All right. So um, that's, and, and you know, inshallah ta'ala, that's what I inspire to get at. You know, still working on it. Um that's, that should also be your objective as well. If that's not your objective, then you're wasting your time. But also, I'm going to tell you something else. There's no I in team. So if you're trying to do everything by yourself, it's only so far you're going to go. Scotty could, I mean, you see the best, the best try to do it by himself. Jordan tried to win by himself. He couldn't do it. He needed the help of Scotty. B.J. Armstrong. John Paxson. Right? Horace Grant. Bill Cartwright. You know what I mean? You need the help. You need help of uh, Dennis Rodman when he came along. Uh, Ron, Hob uh, uh, Ron Harper. You know, you need help. You need help. So, you, I mean, you can't just do it by yourself. You saw what happened when Iverson tried to do it by himself. You see what happened, right? He got so close and he never did it. He never did it. I'm going to give you an ex this example. There is... Um, a certain type of horse that is called, what is it called? It's, it's like, um, dang it, what's the name of that horse? It's a Brazilian horse. I forgot the name of it. Man, um, I had made a video about this before. But anyhow, this horse is, is so strong that this horse will... Um, this horse can pull up to five, I think, five thousand pounds, five thousand pounds a piece, right? Five thousand pounds.